What's going on today, guys? We got another mail day review by Card Poppers. I'm Logan, and let's get right to it. So basically, I opened up this stuff already. I forgot to do the video, so I'm just kind of putting things from what I think is my least favorite to my most favorite stuff, or I should say value-wise, least valuable and most valuable. So this is from three lots, three separate lots. We got a Nico Collins RPA, number to 25. It's kind of a cool card. He popped off at least one week. He had a really big game. I don't know what he's done really since then. I haven't paid attention to the Texan so much. I know CJ Stroud was playing pretty good. I'm not sure exactly how he's playing anymore. Another Nico Collins autograph. This laser looks really sick. It looks like the downtown laser. Number 299, 97 to 99. Nico Collins, green rated rookie. It is not numbered to five, but it's still a sick card. I know usually green stuff is, is numbered to five. And then we have a bunch. This is from a different lot. I hear Wilson's super sick. This is from a different lot. I paid money and I got a bunch of just different prism color variants from somebody's break. Brian Robinson select, AJ Green, Red Wave, number to 149, Landon Collins. Just got a bunch of sick cards. Nelson Aguilar back there too. Not my favorite player in the world, but he did play for the Eagles. Kyle Lawletta. Devontae Parker Blue Scope. He's a beast when he's on the Dolphins. Prism Break, Garrett Wilson. Lead Series Rookie, Baker Mayfield. A lot of this stuff is, is nice tossing cards for when I do deals and add sweeteners to people's packages and stuff. Just nice little tossings for people. Baker Mayfield. Christopher Herndon, the fourth. This is a sick red wave auto. And this card behind is kind of nice. Not the best player anymore, but being an Eagles fan, I still like that card. I like that next card. Christopher Herndon, the fourth. Red wave. Carson Wentz downtown this seems kind of sick to be honest with you i like this maybe it's possibly worth grading if it's in good condition it's just a sick card i think i don't know what year this is 2018 optic so um second year carson ones i don't even know if they had downtowns in 2017 but second year carson or no this is third year carson Wentz because his rookie year is 2016 third year carson Wentz downtown it's still a sick card nonetheless and you can tell the resemblance between the Wentz and the Nico Collins very very similar looks on the cards with that laser box Pandora kind of deal all right next up we got the Wilson Wilson package. This is kind of the reason I bought the lot was this card and I figured everything else was tossings. I'm going to grade this, I believe. I don't know. I haven't looked extremely closely, but I looked a little closely on this card. I think it's grade worthy for sure. I'm hoping for a 10, which is always what you're hoping for. But I mean, it looks like it's in solid shape. I don't see any print lines or anything. I think that's just a bunch of junk, like uh, dust on there. I don't think that's anything to do with the card. This is a Garrett Wilson. This is the new sweet level. So I believe that Panini got rid of select field level and they came up with sweet level instead. So this is a sweet level 25 to 25. Looks like it's in very clean condition. Maybe that back corner. Oh, back corner is a little bit messed up. So maybe not grade worthy. I will probably just end up selling this raw. If that, yeah, that's indeed a dinged up corner on here. So yeah, that's all right. I'll still sell this thing raw, which is okay. Definitely is still a nice card, nonetheless. Got a Kenny Pickett Prism Base. He was super hyped up coming into the season, not so much anymore. I guess last game, or yesterday I should say, Sunday, they played good against the Rams. Sensational signatures, Darren Woodson. Cowboy cards usually sell pretty good. Devontae Smith Blue Wave. I'll probably keep this for my personal collection. I'm a big Devontae Smith guy. 
Hype Mac Jones, I'm guessing this is second year, third year, second year, sick card. Shyler Thompson, so this would be a good card to have if Tua went down. You're never hoping Tua goes down, but this would be the card to have if he did. Got another stack of this stuff, and then there is some a little bit nicer slabs coming last. This is another one I'll keep for myself. Jonathan Allen, Hyper Prism, Justin Tucker, just a sick card. AJ Brown, probably gonna keep that one. Ramondre Stevenson. I don't know what purple's number, do 125. Cracked Ice, I wanna say this is numbered in 99. 225. Micah Hyde, 49, I think, Purple Power. 49. Orange Wave, uh, 125. 60. Pat Fryer with Red Waves, 199. 149. And then, last card of this pile, Jalen Samuels, RPA. They're pretty sick patch on there. Don't know what this card's doing, but. Oh, 2018, probably not doing a whole lot if I haven't heard of them yet. So yeah, that was a pretty cool little pile there. And here's the slabs. We have a Zion Pulsar. If Zion and Ja both gain their value back, this will be a nice card to have. Just a little $40, $50 card right now, but could be something big if Zion plays a bunch of games this season, which he has yet to do. Another one I just talked about, John Morant. I think John Morant's primed to have a good season. I feel like he's going to change his ways. I hope at least. Otherwise, he's screwing a lot of people up a lot of money in the card world. As long as he stays away from shooting guns on Instagram. Well, not shooting, but showing guns on Instagram. Another jaw, red, uh, red, white, and blue. I don't know if you saw the card behind it, but there's a pretty massive card coming next to it. And then last but not least... This one I traded for Tua XRC PSA 10. I think this is the last comp. This is before the Eagles game though, which the Dolphins just lost to the Eagles, which I'm happy that the Eagles won because I'm an Eagles fan, but kind of sad the Dolphins lost at the same time because I have quite a bit of Tua stuff right now. I still think Tua's going to have a good rest of the season. He's played pretty good thus far besides the Eagles game and the Bills game. But other than that, he's looked good. They have a pretty potent offense. I think he's going to be around as long as he doesn't get another concussion or gets hurt in any, any way. I think he's going to be around a long time. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the video. Tell me who you're investing in. Tell me who you're trading for. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.